Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. As usual, I want to thank all of you who are showing the support by adding a like or writing a comment or sharing the video thanks a lot guys i really really appreciate it um we start with uh, euro usd as usual we are looking at the weekly time frame we've had a slow week as you see a couple of slow weeks now after a strong momentum to the downside so the big question here is this slowing down to start a, um, a reversal or it is a slowing down as we had here to then give us a little bit of a correction and continuation so uh, this is a, a big question to answer and um, the re the main reason I'm saying that uh, that it might be a uh, bigger reversal because we reached another level of interest here looking left this might give us a little bit of a higher bounce and last week we end up with a higher low here so could be something going down to the daily time frame we've got first higher low here we've got a higher high we've got yet another higher low so it looks like we might have um, some kind of a um, uh, start uh, starting move to the upside and uh, on the daily time frame the bullish momentum is much stronger than the bearish momentum so if you compare the bullish uh, candle to the bearish candle you see that the bullish momentum um, <coughs> the candles uh, the body uh, of these candles is much bigger and then we go uh, down to the four hour time frame to see when Powell had the testifying and uh, we've got this strong reaction on the dollar. Um, this is the new range, this huge candle here dictating right now the new range uh, going from here and we see that the market is also trading back above the 200 moving average on the one hour each time uh, they go back above it and uh, the last time last week was a retest and they hold above it so all in all uh, the levels that we should be watching on the euro are these uh, the boundaries of this huge bearish candle here and um, for me as far as the market is using this as support i will keep trying to look for a potential bounce back up and then a potential bounce back down so keep buying the low selling the high waiting for a breakout either to the upside to then look for a continuation higher or to the downside to then retest the last line of the defense down here now if this break happens to the downside i want you to really keep an eye on this level because a break on the daily below this level it's gonna be a big deal because there is nothing below here so that's why i think this level gonna be strongly defended down here and i see it as a key area for the bulls to defend so even if they go outside of this range and go down here you need to potentially look for a bounce from this area on the euro usd sterling uh, is a bit of a different story checking the sterling here on the weekly time frame we see that the momentum to the downside is still there there is no slowdown there is still room to reach this level of interest at least this area there is no huge levels like now more than this so this uh, been tested here we look left furthermore we've been tested here and here as resistance and there is the 200 moving average on the weekly time frame down here so this is definitely an important level and it might act as a magnet to drag the price toward that and it seems like the market is willing to reach that area as a potential bearish target so as for now it is sitting at that key support it is the same candle that we had on uh, EURUSD and the candle I'm talking about is this this uh, black candle big candle here is also same here dictating the range but I want you to keep in mind how this keep pressuring down 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 all the way lower highs lower highs below the 200 moving average so the sterling still be below the 200 moving average on the one hour uh, while the euro was actually um, above that 200 and uh, trading uh, using that as potential uh, resistance so for the sterling we have a different story here I will look for potential correction higher and then make be further downside on this market this is what i'm seeing here a potential retest toward this area to then uh, 
tag this last line of defense and this key level of support down here that's why i'm thinking we might see that level getting tested before a reversal to start happening or a correction uh, usd japanese same thing here we look at the weekly time frame we see we have this huge week here a couple of weeks coming from the above here and then followed by a strong bearish candle there is still room for this market to make correction so we had this impulse followed by another great impulse here and now we are looking at a potential correction i think this down here this level is uh, uh, the bearish target at around 112 and there is not much left to reach that level going down to the daily time Time frame we still see the the strong bearish momentum we had here but as for now the market is sitting at right at this support level as soon as this get broken if it gets broken 112 gonna be a quick target here on uh, on this market so keep an eye on where the market is testing right now we still have this little range ongoing at the moment so you could play this range for now uh, as far as there is no break to the downside it might keep bouncing around inside this range so for now there is no reason to do anything else more than just playing this range waiting for a break out of it uh, and uh, if the breakout happened to the downside i think you could easily target um the 112 as i showed you on the daily aussie usd uh, pretty weak um, <coughs> still moving lower now at a another key level of support uh, looking left here we have this a uh, very important area resistance here here and then start acting as support and uh, last week we we saw the price uh, moving quickly to the downside and right now sitting at this key area so where the price is at the moment is a key level of interest to watch checking on the daily you see it even more in detail and uh, yeah as you saw here on friday there was a huge dip to the downside because there was nothing to hold as support here after this break it was pretty open and the market did reach this level i think i'm not sure if i mentioned that here on youtube or in our trading room but we were talking about that a break below this will send us quickly to the downside and now we are here at this key support so what i'm expecting here is some kind of a um, correction maybe even though we have a very low close here uh, it could be time for a bit of a correction early next week before any continuation the structure is still bearish but uh, since we have a key level of uh, potential support um, be aware of uh, maybe seeing some kind of a correction happening early next week on uh, Aussie USD USD CAD checking the weekly time frame same here still bullish still good momentum I think uh, there is no reason for the bulls to stop moving higher until they reach this area up here so my anticipation that we might see a further upside here to tag these highs this high here and this high here uh, so um, again I'm not seeing any reason for the bulls to stop pushing as for now the market is still trading above this inner trend line and as far as that is the case we keep buying those dips to that trend line waiting for the market to reach target so uh, as far as this uh, trend line is holding uh, it is a uh, bullish market in a in my opinion and right now the resistance is up here so uh, keep an eye on uh, those um, dips to try and buy those dips that's uh, what i'm going to do usd chief um, bearish um, uh, bearish move last week uh, we have a um, double top here and uh, the market did push down while i still think if we keep trading above this trend line that been tested three times now as far as the market is above this it is still possible that you see further upside if they break below on the daily when then start looking for continuation to the downside if we look inside here on the lower time frame it is pretty messy here we have too many levels but i would say the best levels for now to play is this bigger range yeah so as you see i marked some levels on my chart here uh, but this got now not respected this uh, still been respected a bit but the best level would be the top of the range and the bottom of the range that what we should be playing for now and uh, as far as uh, the market is uh, trading inside this range there is nothing else to do here more than trading those uh, bounces from the edges 
Gold uh, did break the trend line, check the weekly time frame, we see that it was a um, spinning top week, uh, checking the daily, we trading below the 200 moving average on the daily and below the trend line, as far as that is the case, as far as the market is below the trend line and the 200, it is a um, bearish uh, market in my opinion, so we will see next week, they need to show us a bit of a momentum, they need to go back above the trend line to then turn bullish, otherwise uh, the structure here is still bearish with lower lows and lower highs and sell rallies is still the main idea a break below this will send us pretty quickly toward uh, this level down below here so um, if you see any break below this structure in my opinion it is a good idea to look for a quick move to the downside here toward uh, this target on uh, gold and oil uh, found support here checking the let's go to the weekly as we did with the rest um, we we knew that this area gonna be a potential support level because it's been tested many times uh, both support and resistance um, after such a strong move to the downside they did find some support down here uh, going to the daily we see that there was a, a big rejection here on Thursday uh, tested um, deep below here and um, yeah there is still this uh, level as well as a potential support if they reach that area you could also use that as potential support but i want you to keep an eye on this the market is trading now below the 200 moving average on the daily that's not so good for the bulls in my opinion and um, yeah on the four hour time frame yeah there is potential inverted head and shoulder we will see they need at least to break above these highs to then uh, consider to be a reversal so in my opinion if they break above this and hold above the neckline then i will see that as a reversal otherwise the direction might still be bearish if they keep failing to break higher here it is a sell at this level on oil and that was it for this week guys thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye